Good morning and welcome to this short act of worship for Palm Sunday. Wherever you are, if you're watching this video, my prayer is that you are well and that you know God's love surrounding you. Palm Sunday is about welcoming Jesus. We remember the story of Jesus' triumphant entry to Jerusalem, the great crowd that was there to celebrate Passover and how they welcomed him as king. We're going to begin with a prayer. Let's pray. Lord of Palm Sunday, you enable us to see and hear you anew as we listen again to the story of your journey to Jerusalem. Breathe your love into our lives. Enable us to love others, even as you have loved us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to listen to the account from Matthew's Gospel, of Jesus' triumphant entry to Jerusalem. Pauline is going to read for us. Matthew 21, verses 1 to 11. As Jesus and the disciples approached Jerusalem and were near the town of Bethpage, on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of them into the village ahead. Just as you enter, he said, you will see a donkey tied there with its colt beside it. Untie it and bring them here. If anyone asks you what you are doing, just say, the master needs them and there will be no trouble. This was done to fulfil the ancient prophecy. Tell Jerusalem her king is coming to her, riding humbly on a donkey's colt. The two disciples did as Jesus said and brought the animals to him and threw their garments over the colt for him to ride on. And some in the crowd threw down their coats along the road ahead of him and others cut branches from the trees and spread them over out before him. Then the crowd surged on ahead and pressed along behind, shouting, God bless King David's son. God's man is here. Bless him, Lord. Praise God in the highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was stirred as he entered. Who is this? they asked. And the crowds replied, It's Jesus the prophet from Nazareth, from Galilee. In the words of the Bible, we've heard the story of Jesus' entry to Jerusalem. Something about all the different characters that were there and involved. The disciples, the crowds that had gathered to go and share the great festival of Passover, those who were supporters followers of Jesus, and to be truthful, I suspect many who were simply also on the road and travelling in the same direction. And that's, of course, before we start and think about those who were already there, the authorities, the Roman overseers. So my reflection and thought for this Palm Sunday is simply this. As Jesus was recognised and welcomed by the crowds that day. Where is Jesus for you today? Are you actually and actively looking out to meet him? 
rather in the way that some of the crowds and the disciples and followers were doing so? Are you simply being one of the crowd, going along without any real expectation that you would actually meet up or your life would be challenged or changed by this meeting with Jesus? To be honest, are you paying so much attention to all the other things that actually Jesus could pass you by and you wouldn't notice and recognise? Palm Sunday is about welcoming Jesus as the King, the one who has the highest priority, the greatest call upon our lives, whether we recognise him or not. A King with a difference, a king who shows the characteristics of, God's, of God in human life and who is prepared to face the worst on our behalf, for our sake. We know well where Palm Sunday is leading to. That journey into Jerusalem has its inevitable consequence as the days of Holy Week unfold and Jesus intentionally travels towards Good Friday. Arrest, trial, crucifixion, death. Will we be faithful and walk and be with Jesus in these days? Will we accompany him throughout the days that follow Palm Sunday, knowing that Easter Day is on the horizon. We have a king who rides a donkey. Perhaps you'd like to take these moments with me just to reflect on how I am welcoming Jesus in my life in these circumstances on this Palm Sunday.
Right on to die, right on to die. Then take, O Christ, your power and reign. Inevitably, we're thinking about other people in these days. Our circumstances in terms of our life and our routine patterns have been so changed. So let's just hold these thoughts and prayers before God now in a prayer for ourselves and others. And then a prayer that God should bless us for the days ahead. Let us pray. In this quiet moment, Lord, we remember great crowds which in our experience now are held in our memories. We remember being in the crowds and like the crowd welcoming you, Jesus, our Saviour and Lord. Lord, be close to each and every one all whom we hold dear this day. May your grace and love and peace, healing and wholeness be with them. Lord, we pray for the things that are difficult, hard or confusing in these moments, knowing that you have promised to be with us by our side, each and every day. Lord, we offer ourselves and those who we hold in our hearts and minds to you now and pray that you would be with them and bless them. And for ourselves, Lord, we now pray that you would grant us wisdom, courage, strength to journey with you that our lives may reflect your glory and we may honour you as King and Saviour. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now may the blessing, the love and the grace of God be with you this day and always. Amen. Love divine, all love's excelling, joy of heaven to earth come down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling, all thy faithful mercy.